What is going on guys? I'm Pete. Welcome to Retro Game Attic. In today's video, I'm going to install Aroma on my Wii U console. Now, Aroma modifies the system's firmware, which allows you to install a variety of homebrew applications as well as emulators. It's a pretty straightforward process. I've never done it before, but I'm going to run through the steps of doing so in this video and hopefully help a few of you guys out. So with all that out of the way, let's install Aroma on the Wii U. All right, so first up here is everything you need for this soft mod. First up, you're gonna need a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now this has to be in FAT32 format. And next is the computer that we're using, and I have an M3 MacBook Air here running Sequoia 15.6.1. And the next item here might be optional with some Windows computers and higher-end Macs, but with these lower-end MacBook Airs, they can't read USB cards natively, so you're going to need a USB-C to SD card adapter. These are pretty cheap. I think I got this for like 9 bucks off of Amazon, and I will throw a link to it in the description. And then of course the Wii U console that we will soft mod. I have the 8GB white console here. So with this little equipment rundown out of the way, we are ready to hop onto the MacBook. Okay, we are on the MacBook and I navigated over to Wii U.hacks.guide. Now this will run us through all the steps for soft modding the Wii U console. And as you can see on the home page here, we'll just scroll down a little bit. It'll give you a little bit of background between the homebrew, custom firmware, and so on. And I didn't mention this before, but this is important that the guide will work on all Wii U consoles with the latest firmware. 5.5.6 for North America and then 5.5.5 for all other regions. So we have all these items here. We are all set there. I'm going to scroll down to continue to aroma. In the top left here, these are all the steps that we're going to go through. This is just some background on Aroma. This is what we're going to use to soft mod the Wii U console. It goes through its bundles and limitations. I'm really not too concerned with that. And being that we breeze through all of that, the next step is SD preparation. Okay, real quick, before we move forward here, I removed the card reader from its packaging and we're going to insert the SD card into it. It's oriented upside down. I know it's kind of a little weird and it snaps in like so, and then we'll just insert it into one of the USB-C ports. And that's it, we're good to go. Let's hop back on the MacBook. All right, we are back on the MacBook, and as you can see, we have this error message here saying that the disk you attached was not readable by this computer. So we are going to initialize it. We are now in disk utility. It just looks like we need to format it to FAT32. All we need to do here to format it is to go to the top right in the toolbar to erase, and then click on format. We'll go to MS-DOS parentheses fat and then erase. Let it do its thing for a second. Operation successful, so we are all done. So now that the SD card is ready to go, let's go over back to the Wii Hacks Guide. All right, back on the SD preparation page. It tells us to go to the Aroma site and then scroll down to the download section, read through all the steps, which we're probably not gonna do. So I clicked onto the Aroma site. It is aroma.foryour.cafe. And then we'll download the latest version. It looks like beta 24, which was done back in February of this year. We'll scroll down to download. We'll make sure that everything is clicked here. We'll click on download payloads. We'll let it save and then download base Aroma. So next step is to insert the Wii U's SD card into the PC. We already did that. And then we're going to extract and copy the Wii U folder of both of those zip files to the root of our SD card. And then the Wii U folder should be merged if not done automatically. So let's go over to the SD card. We have it named Untitled here. I'm just gonna leave it as that. We'll navigate to our Downloads folder. And then we're just gonna move these right into our SD card folder. I'm just gonna highlight them, Command C, Command V. Like the instructions said, they should be merged into one Wii U folder. I'm gonna to go to two and then move this stuff right into the regular Wii U folder. And then I'll delete Wii U2. And we should be good to go on the SD card. We'll navigate back over to the instructions. That shows the SD card layout. I think we're good there. So now let's go over to next page, browser exploit. So we're gonna remove the SD card from the computer and plug it into the Wii U console. So I will see you in a second. All right, Wii U console is powered on. I'm going to insert the SD card into the console. There we go. So from here, we're going to launch the internet browser. 
And then from here, we're going to navigate to wiuexploit.xyz and we'll click OK. OK, from here, we're going to click Run Exploit and hold the B button on the gamepad until you see a black screen that says Choose Your Payload. All right, I clicked Run Exploit and I am holding the B button. SD mount failed. That's a bummer. So let's power this down and hop back on the MacBook, I guess. All right, so we are back on the MacBook and I'm gonna navigate back over to Disk Utility. So we are formatted in FAT32. I'm gonna try this again. We'll go to Erase, Format to FAT32. Operation is successful, we'll click Done. We'll navigate back over to that SD card and then open up our Downloads folder in another tab. Okay, we'll take Wii U in the Downloads folder, copy and paste it into the SD card. Looks like it loaded there, so I'm going to eject the SD card and we'll hop back over onto the Wii U. All right, we're back on the Wii U. SD card is inserted and we are at that Wii U exploit.xyz again. I'm going to click run exploit and then hold down the B button. Failed again, please insert a FAT32 formatted SD card. Huh, I guess let's go back over to the MacBook. We'll try to figure this out. Okay, so I swapped out that 32 gigabyte SD card for a smaller two gigabyte. I formatted it to FAT32 and I just copied all those aroma files onto it. So I'm gonna put it into the Wii U, boot it up and let's try this again. Okay, so third time's a charm. I'm going to click run exploit and hold B and see what happens with this new SD card. All right, we're good to go here. It says, please choose your payload. Okay, so now that we made it over to the screen, we'll go down to NAND Dumper to create a backup of our Wii U files. So using the D-pad on the gamepad, we'll navigate down to NAND Dumper. Press A. And then we're gonna back up everything here. We're gonna do dump SLC, SLCC. MLC is optional. I'm gonna leave it out because we don't have enough space on the SD card. We'll dump the OTP and the SEEP ROM. Now that we're all good to go here, we'll press A to launch. Okay, on the gamepad, something's happening here. It says, welcome to NAND Dumper. And it is slowly but surely writing the SLC. I'm gonna set the Wii U gamepad down for a minute because it looks like it's gonna take a while. Many, many minutes later. Okay, so those backups finally downloaded to the SD card. I'm going to power down the Wii U, eject the SD card, and then we'll hop over to the MacBook. All right, we are back on the MacBook. We have our SD card inserted, and as you can see, Aroma SD is right here. These are those bin files that we backed up before, so let's move these onto our computer. I'll move them over to my downloads folder, so I'll paste them into there. It might take a second to move these two. I know they're kind of big for that old little SD card. It'll probably take a minute to move these two over. We'll just give it a little bit of time here. All right, so we have those bin files backed up to our downloads folder. We'll go back over to the SD card and then we'll just delete those off the SD card. So I'll move them to trash. Okay, from here, we are good to go. Let's eject the SD card from the MacBook and we'll hop back over to the Wii U console. Okay, Wii U is powered on, SD card is inserted into the console and we are in the internet browser navigating back over to wiuexploit.xyz. Okay, so this is going to be a very similar process like before. We're going to click Run Exploit and then hold down the X button on the gamepad. Last time we held B, hold X this time. Okay, this is a good sign. We have Environment Loader and then Aroma. We're going to press A to launch the Aroma Environment. So this warning message is totally normal. This is actually a good sign. So from here, we're going to press A to block updates. So now that we're in the boot selector, we're gonna press A on the gamepad to go to Wii U menu. We'll let it do its thing for a second. So as you can see in the Wii U menu now, we have two new icons. We have the payload loader installer and then the aroma updater. We're gonna press A on the gamepad to launch the payload loader installer. Okay, we have this screen on the gamepad and the monitor. It's asking us if we want to check if an installation is possible. We're gonna press A to check. 
and it says it can be installed to health and safety information. This is exactly what we want to do. So we'll press the A button on the gamepad to install slash update. And then it's going to ask you, are you really sure you want to do this? Press down on the D-pad and then go to install. And it's backing up files. Payloader was successfully installed. Press A to shut down the console. We'll hold down the power button and power the Wii U on again. Okay, so the Wii U console started up. That is a great sign. So from here we have two options. We can set Aroma to auto boot every time we start up the console, or we can just access it through health and safety information by default. I personally do not want it to auto start every time I start up the Wii U, so let's stick with health and safety information. So let's click on it. We'll let it load up there and see what happens. Okay, this is a great sign. It went into environment loader. So with Aroma highlighted, we're gonna press Y to set it as our default environment and then we'll press A. We are in the boot selector now. We're gonna press Y on the Wii U menu to set that as default. It's highlighted yellow now, so we're all good to go there. And then from here, we press A on the gamepad. So there it is, guys. We were able to install Payload Loader, Environment Loader, and Aroma on this Wii U. Like I said before, this is going to be accessed through health and safety information and not default booted when the Wii U is powered on. I clicked on health and safety information. It booted back into the Wii U menu, and we have Payload Loader Installer and the Aroma Updater here. So there it is, guys. We got Aroma installed on the Wii U. So like I said earlier, Aroma unlocks the ability to install a wide variety of homebrew content on this console. We're not gonna install any homebrew apps today. My main goal of this video was to install Aroma on the Wii U, and we did it. I'm actually pretty stoked about that. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did, please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. As always, thank you so much for checking out Retro Game Addict. I really do appreciate you all. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next one.